Hey, 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 let's do sales of the week. Let's dive right into it. Let's see what's sold. Okay, so the Converse Runstar Legacy sold on eBay for $90. The buyer sent me a best offer and I accepted. It was also free shipping. Another pair of the Nike Dry Fit Tiger Woods mock neck shirt sold on Postmark for the price of $63. The buyer did pay for shipping. Here we got a Nike Life Man online workwear shirt and an olive colorway. It's sold on Postmark for $80. I paid $29.99 at Ross and it finally sold. Let's keep it going, baby. All right, Nike Air Jordan Hydro 6 Slides. These I found these at the Premium Outlet for $24.99 and it's sold on Postmark for $50. Let's go. Woo -woo. Then I got this Nike PlayStation Cola with Paul George. It's sold on Postmark for the price of $40 after. I was I kept countering offering the buyer because at first he wanted to buy it for about $30 I counted for 40 then he counted for 35 and I kept countering for 40 and he took it And he was also paying for shipping for this item. So it makes sense funny thing I got this item from one of my friends who I had a Lakers hat that he really wanted And I traded it to him because he told me hey I'll trade you this hat and give me that Laker hat and another Laker hat that he wanted and I was like say no more I don't even like the Lakers like that They're trash anyways and I gave him the two hats and he gave me that and I knew I was gonna make more money off that hat quicker than the Lakers stuff so I took that hat and look at that it sold right away so let's keep it going baby here we got another sale I found this Nike Alpha Harashi Elite 3 low at Ross for the price of only $14.99 and they finally sold on Postmark for the price of $80 the buyer is paying for shipping I hope you guys enjoy and keep watching because I got stuff that I want to talk to you guys about Hello guys, welcome back to Just Flipping. Yes sir, we are right back at it again. Today I don't have a video for you guys about me finding items because I did not go to any store, any retail store to go find items. I just want to kind of talk to you guys. So I had a comment a while ago on one of my YouTube videos. Uh, somebody said that reselling is dead, that they're only getting one sale and blah, 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 etc., etc. I think reselling is not dead. Some people might think this and I think a lot of the people who who think that are new resellers and the reason why I believe they think that is because they're not doing their research and also because they think their business or small store is gonna grow out of nowhere and you're not gonna build your business in one day you know Rome was not built in one day like how that saying goes you gotta start from the bottom and then you gotta build yourself up I am still not even at the top yet and I've been doing reselling for about two years so you guys gotta understand that so if you're a new reseller definitely do your research research is the key word from this conversation that I'm trying to have with all you guys my viewers yes definitely researching is the number one thing you should do especially when you're new okay researching items that you don't know about looking them up not just looking them up on eBay and seeing what's the comp on eBay or how many people have it on eBay you can also go look it up on Postmark Macari or any other place where you sell at guys very simple very easy if you're finding a Nike product Nike has a style code which you can just put into your eBay app or Postmark or whatever or if you find the title or the name of the shoes but one thing I also like to do is I like to go to Safari or Google and I put in that style code and I find that product and what I like to do is to see if Nike has it in stock if Nike has it in stock it'll make it a little difficult and depending on the pricing they have the item for it can make it a lot difficult for you to sell on eBay eBay probably why because Nike has it in stock and they might have it for a lower price than what some people have on eBay but the thing that's crazy that I don't understand about eBay sometimes there there is eBay does have buyers that they go in there and they buy from eBay instead of probably buying it from Nike which is cool for us who sell on eBay so that is pretty dope if Nike doesn't have it in stock it's gonna be even better for you because then you can go back on eBay and list it pretty high and that's gonna be better because anybody who's looking for that product is gonna buy it out from you for a good price so definitely do your research I cannot say that word anymore and if you're a new beginner you're not just about to be selling 20 items like this other resellers that you're probably seeing on videos and they're showing you oh, I just saw this this is this, this item yeah they've been doing it for a long time and they worked really hard for that bye